Hi, Bob. I want to discuss... This is actually something I've wanted to discuss for like a month now. Because I'm torn on it. Hi, Sarah Herrera. We're going to talk wokeness, Punkin. You, you, you came right in time. <laughs> Does anybody know what Kayla I'm talking about? I feel like if you just Google Kayla and wokeness or something, it'll come up. Hi, Kenzie. Kenzie, you might be relevant for this conversation as well. This has nothing to do with slot machines, so if that's why you're here, girl, bye. Hi, DJ. Yeah, there's lots of love in Canada, that's for sure. What am I doing now? We are hunting down a motherfucking uh, uh, orange drink, hopefully. And Kaylee's your dream girl. Well, some men, I believe that she probably would be. Uh, and uh, orange drink and some tacos. Anything to do with Jews? No. I don't understand the whole Jewish thing, the anti-Semite crap and stuff like that. I don't get it. So I usually don't have much of an opinion on that. Plus, I never got to see what Kanye said. I don't really care because he's just a fucking idiot. <clears throat> uh, I don't feel bad for Kim Kardashian at all. Uh, that he, like, docks their own kids or whatever. Because it's like, uh, everybody knew what a lunatic this man was before he started banging. So I, 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 I got no sympathy. Doesn't make it right, but I got no sympathy. You ready for the tea? Are you, are you sure you can handle this tea? I don't know. Ooh. TTT. Oh my god, the line is for fucking days. No! Uh. I feel like one of you guys has got to fucking figure out who I'm talking about first before we start. Kayla Lemieux. Yeah, I need you guys to look this shit up because you got you gotta you gotta see who I'm talking about. Take your device. Google this bitch. And let's discuss. Oh, fuck. Yeah, the golden arches are on. No idea. Well, that's why you have a fucking device that you can Google. Yeah, yeah. God damn it. You guys are pissing me off already. Oh my god, the line is from hell here. Oh no. No. Oh, look at all that fucking jizz on the fucking lens thank you Jason yes 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 <clears throat> I am torn on this entire thing I see both sides and I can't uh, come to a conclusion with how I feel I can't wait to argue with Nate about this because Nate is super woke and I can't deal. Uh, but that's, you know, most of the problem. Um, I, well, okay, they are fake. You need the whole story? Well, I don't know the whole story. Is it a chest plate or is it actual, like, is it an actual, like, implant job? I believe they're a chest plate, aren't they? Or no? Do you guys know the difference? Okay, well, it is a she, John, so let's, let's be a little bit sensitive to, you know, I don't know, not being a dipshit. <clears throat> What is a prosthetic, though? So prosthetic to me sounds like a chest plate. So they can be taken off at any time. No, it doesn't have to be, Jason. It does not. It doesn't have to be anything. <clears throat> this 
world. This world is a mess, but why, why is it that it's so shocking to us? Because it shouldn't be, right? Like, titties is titties. Like, I can go around shirtless places and, and females can. And I think that's bullshit. Uh, just because they've been, tits have been sexualized or whatever, like, that's why it's a problem. But, like, it shouldn't be. <laughs> Shut up, Jason. Gross. <laughs> <clears throat> However, I realize that that's just not the way society is, right? So I shouldn't expect everyone in society to all of a sudden become on board with me and my liberal ideas of, of, of shirtless society, right? <clears throat> I'm, I just, I, I, I'm so, hi, Wisconsin. Yeah, but it's Dexter, it's her right to look stupid and ridiculous, is it not? You know, and she she's a teacher of, of, of wood uh, shop class or whatever. You know she's going to saw them titties off. <laughs> Those are a fucking accident waiting to happen. <laughs> uh, Sarah, I agree 100%. I agree 100%. Oh, are the students distracted? Uh, not the gay ones. <laughs> I'm waiting in this long fucking line just for a fucking orange soda. I don't think so. We're gonna be leaving. I don't have time for this. I'm gonna back into you, bitch. Better fucking move. And I'm gonna hit that fucking sign. Oh my god. Frank, look up Kayla Lemieux for me real quick. Tell me your thoughts. <laughs> Frank's titty fucked her, you guys. You know good and goddamn well Frank's been there. She looks like a lot lizard. <clears throat> Not tonight, Sarah. Nope. I didn't even upload a video today. <laughs> Frank, you titty fucked Kayla Lemieux? Okay. I need... I still need one more. Anyways, I feel like, yeah, this is this is this is why the left gets their ass kicks and asses kicked in elections, <clears throat> probably next you know two weeks or whatever. Uh, it's because people don't like change, right? We don't like change. Change is uncomfortable, but change is inevitable, right? And so, but you can't take. A person like like my like my father, for example. I don't even know that my father even knows what a transsexual or a transgender person even is. <clears throat> and to go from point A to Z, there's 24 letters in, in between. You can't just jump from one to the last. You've got to gradually get there. And but I feel like Miss Titty Kitty here is just is going from A to Z. And it's just like, gee, you know, but, but I'm torn because I feel like it's definitely her right to do so. Um, I, I don't see, can anybody justify to me why she shouldn't be able to wear those to work? Her giant titties. <laughs> Kenzie, you've got giant jugs, don't you? What, what are your thoughts? Or are the itty bitties? Ease the masses into the water. <laughs> I like that phrase. <laughs> Ease the masses into the Kool Aid. I gotcha. That was back then. That, that, that is irrelevant. I don't give two flying fucks about that. Get you some Obamacare. It's a distraction to the classroom environment, but whose fault is that, though, Testy? Just because I've got giant tits, I, I mean, you know, hi, Frank. Uh, fuck, no, that thing is nasty. I'm not a moob lover. Those are man boobs, you think? 
I don't think that's what that is, but... <clears throat> Some drag queens that are bigger girls or whatever can use their actual, like, man titties to, you know, push up and... Frank, you want to see my titties? I'll show you. Come here, babe. I'll push it. Oh, look at those. Oh, Frank, you love hairy tits, right? Yeah, you do. Ah, uh, I don't know why I did that. Hi, Garbage. Uh, is that the one that he drilled the, the, the hole in the side of his head and poured, like, hydrochloric acid in it or some shit? Garbage. <laughs> I think Dahmer was the top in that situation, though. I took that deaf dick like a champ three times. Good times, you guys. <laughs> Nothing says love like that. Paige, do you have any thoughts on Kayla Lemieux? Anyways, I I just I think this this story or whatever is just is really fascinating. Oh, Frank's had another super chat for daddy. I just threw my dinner away. I lost my appetite after that. Well you're welcome. You could use lose a few pounds, fat ass. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Frank. Yeah, you do, garbage. Yes, you do. I... Who is that? Look that shit up. It's, I, I think it's fascinating. And I, and I think it's fascinating because I can't decide how to feel about it. I'm very, I'm very on the fence on this one. Not because it's a picket fence and because it feels good going up my asshole. But because I can't decide which side to be on. Is this McDo Yeah, I am not missing this light. Nope, nope, nope. And she runs the red lights. Okay. Oh, these arches aren't on. God damn it. They're huge prosthetics. Okay, well, thank you for the fact. But that's not what we're discussing. We're not discussing what they are. <clears throat> we're discussing... What are we discussing? I don't know. Let's move on. <clears throat> Anyways, Nate is super woke about things. And I always fight with him about it. Because it's fucking stupid. <clears throat> like, the, w the way to get somebody who's middle of the road to vote <clears throat> for your candidate is not to shove shit down their fucking throat. And, oh my god! and make them accept it. It's to fucking gradually open their eyes. Oh, don't you bitch at me. What is she bitching about? I have low fuel? How the fuck is that? I'll be fine. <clears throat> Hi, Nikki. Nick, look up Kayla Lemieux for me. What are your thoughts? Babe. Go to holiday and use my gas fucking gift card, you bastard. I don't want to get gas. Fuck you. How'd my brakes turn on? Do you think it's inappropriate? See, I, I, I get that. I truly get that. But at the same time, like, I feel that the reason that we think it's inappropriate is simply because of the way that we've, we've uh, been raised or grown up or whatever. And that, just because you think it's appropriate should not uh, 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 impact somebody else's right to live the way they want to, right? very much a libertarian in that I if you're not if you're not bothering or affecting somebody else in what you do live your fucking life <laughs> right Nikki I don't think that she should have to wear any sort of specific clothing to make it acceptable or not just the way it is I I is that an acceptable way for society to progress, though? Just because it is the way it is, so we just we're we're we're, we're over it. 
I don't I don't think so. I mean first Hi Gary. Gary, I think I'm over by where you live, you sack of shit. Come over here and kiss me. Depends on the grace you're teaching. I don't think that it should. You guys bring up all these like different like well it depends on this or depends on that. I just I don't think it should depend on any of those things. It is either acceptable or it's not. Runs with scissors. <clears throat> I love having conversations with you guys. You're all so stupid, and I'm all, and you always you always validate me being right. <laughs> are, are they Kayla huge though? If they're not Kayla huge, they ain't huge. Well, <laughs> it looks like, yeah, but is it not her right to look silly? I worked at, when I worked at Wells Fargo, I, I love this lady, so I'm not going to say her name or anything, but and, uh, you never know I'll get back to somebody. But there was this woman that would just wear the sluttiest fucking clothes with the biggest tits. And she would wear she would wear these hooker heels that were what do you even call these like six inch pumps or something like I, they they were she could do a double shift at the fucking strip club after work it was so ridiculous but it's it was her right to be ridiculous and and to you know it it's right I don't know I'm so torn on this you guys. Oh yeah, I fucked the shit out of her. That's actually how we, we both got fired is because we we're having an inter-office relationship. And apparently you're supposed to get that approved nowadays. Please. <laughs> she had the nicest dick. Um. Oh, oh yeah, no, no, no. If she wore if she wore pants or whatever, you know, which was very fucking seldom, she would she would have a a, a G string like popping out of the back of those pants. Like like it was absolutely ridiculous. And we would all talk about it, of course. But that was that was her. You dress however the fuck you want to. I don't think that she should be surprised when people stare, Sarah. It's, it's your right to stare, right? I'll look you up and down if I want to, bitch. Don't fucking dress like that if you don't want me to look you up and down. <clears throat> what are we doing? I don't even know. I'm driving until I run out of gas. Lovely. Paige, you got nice big titties. What are your thoughts? <laughs> she, she doesn't have Kayla sides, you guys, so don't get too excited. But they're nice. They're nice and supple, you know? They're a nice handful. You go honk, honk. She loves it when you do that, too. If you see her in the casino, just go up to her and go honk, honk. She loves that. I swear to God, I'll give somebody 20 bucks if they actually do that. <laughs> does the fact that they're, they're, does the fact that they're not implants and they're an actual like chest plate, there's something that can be taken on and off with ease, I assume, does that make a difference? for some reason. I feel like it could. But again, I don't think it justifies anything. Yes, yeah, okay. So if she got them done 
permanently, it w you got you would be somehow more accepting of it. I think this is a fascinating discussion, you guys. I should run a fucking political woke talk show. <clears throat> In fact, that's what that that's why I didn't upload a video today. My regular channel is becoming uh, woke and stroke. That's the name of it now. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> He's here, Kathy. He blocked you. Don't you of course me. I'm asking the goddamn fucking question because it's not a fucking of course answer, bitch. <clears throat> I understand why it, why in your eyes it does make a difference or whatever, but I just, I don't think that it should. Well, Paige, what if he just had a giant fucking dick to begin with? Spray paint cock, you know, the guy that I, I ditched you for that one night. I remember it well. Uh, oh my God, you guys, this, this ginger guy has this dick that, that I'm, I'm not, when I say that it is the size of a spray paint can, I'm not exaggerating. It was heaven. <clears throat> Anyways, where was I? I, for, I got all distracted now. Is that McDonald's open? Uh, where were we? Now I'm horny. Is your pants are an option? Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> God damn it, this one's closed. All right. Um, I still need my tacos. I don't want to get gas. Oh... Why do I think prosthetics are not any different? Because I think, the, I think the root of the problem here is, you know, why are men nipples okay, but women nipples are not okay to show, right? It's because of, we as people have sexualized tits on women. And, but they're the same body part as a man has. So why, just, just because we as a society have sexualized them does not make them any different than what a man has. And so therefore, it, it, it doesn't matter to me if they're prosthetic or, or if they're implants or whatever. It just doesn't fucking matter because at the end of the day, they shouldn't be, they shouldn't be something that is such a taboo item. You know, it's, 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 that's, <clears throat> Dan will honk for the, <laughs> okay, Kathy, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Better be careful out there, Paige. <laughs> uh, hi, Mary Jill, how are you? Sure your press charges. Bring it on. Careful, Dan. <laughs> she might be mad now. Oh, Paige, you want me to pet you? I'll pet you, honk honk. <clears throat> Hi, Matt. If one of you buys me a chest plate with those giant tits on it, I'll wear them to the casino. You can also throw a punch. I believe that. <clears throat> Although that one guy you got in the middle of their relationship, he was going to fucking wipe you out, bitch. <laughs> you guys, I'm scared of Paige. Someone told me tonight that a, uh, 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 a channel Casino Fanatic 78 got kicked out of Ho-Chunk and got his 
filming revoked or some bullshit like that? Does anybody know anything about that? Because I don't know anything about that. You back down. <laughs> yeah, you saw the size of your Adam's app, and I was like, okay, I'm not fucking with this guy. <laughs> You did, Tracy? Well, that's good to hear. In your eyes, is uh, Okay, it's a she. It is a transgendered woman. So let's call him the correct pronoun at least. That's the least we can do. <clears throat> we don't have to agree with the giant tits, but let's... Let's let <laughs> uh, trying to make a buck. How so? How do you make a buck off of wearing giant titties? I want to know. Is there a business opportunity here that I'm not cashing in on? Matt, you can identify as whatever the fuck you want to. As long as it don't affect me, we're cool. No more recording in the Dells, says Shell. Why, why do you say that? Sounds good, Moose. <clears throat> Okay. They do have new management. My boy John's gone. Well, thank you, Thomas. I appreciate that. It's good. It's nice to. It's nice to be validated that I'm not the only one that is on the fence. And I appreciate you researching that. Most of the people just talk out their ass like Matt. I'm a fucking moose. Whatever the fuck you were, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> you know, he's a Trump supporter and therefore he's a dipshit. <laughs> Isn't that right, Matt? Isn't that right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Anyways, I just, I, I had seen that uh, pictures of Kayla on Bill Maher. Uh, oh, you are testy? Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I, can, I can clock a Trump supporter from across the county, bitch. I got this. <clears throat> uh, we are getting something to eat if I could just shut the fuck up and, and stop fantasizing about these giant titties. Here's another thing. Does the fact that the nipples on... Okay, so when she wears a shirt or whatever, her nipples are very erect and very in your face. Does, 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 does that factor into our decision making on this as well? I am Paige. Because nipples aren't always erect like that, are they? I, I, again, I don't really know that I would know. Yes, okay. So, so that, that makes them kind of in your face and, and even more sexualized, right? Your daughter is gay. Does she hate you? <laughs> you guys, I just go live anymore just to fucking roast you fuckers. It's so fun. Arnold's are. Don't I know it? Please let these arches be on. Oh, the Book of Mormon's coming. Wait. What's the date today? The Book of Mormon is here. Let's go to the Book of Mormon, you guys. These arches are off. God damn it. They're intentionally being sexualized. Uh, JG, I actually agree with you about that. And that's kind of the problem that I have with, with that as well, right? Like, 
So if it was a guy, it would be a giant cock that is erect, like down the side of his pants or something, right? <clears throat> yeah. You guys, I think we all learned today. I feel, I feel like we're all better human beings because of this. You're welcome. I'm your savior. You don't need Jesus anymore. I got you. <laughs> all right, let's go get some fucking tacos. Hi, Lisa. Lisa, I think I'm going to torture you and make the, the, your box in the back is going to become the new what's in the box, if you remember that saga. Were you here for that? <clears throat> I had a box in the back in the back window for like six months, and everybody would always ask what's in the box. And that just made me like leave it back there more. Is that too torturous for you, Lisa? We need a new what's in the box. You wanted, and it wasn't for that song. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, the Cult of SD. Oh, you guys, I appreciate that super chat. Thank you. You know, I think the Ruiz is definitely cultish. I don't think Sister is fucking smooth enough to, to actually be a cult leader. But there's definitely some people over there that would drink Kool-Aid for her. Um, I just don't know that I could ever do that. But being in my position and seeing how dumb half of you are, um, I definitely understand like how cults like thrive and, and, and flourish. Testy, I think you'd vote Democrat for me. Yep. What is this? It's amazing how some intend to do something silly. Do what you want when you are 18, but be respectful of yourself and others like you do. I don't know what that means. It's your best gift to date, says Lisa, the final issue. Okay, we'll open it here. <clears throat> Are we done talking about titties? You guys want to see mine again? Oh, oh fuck yeah. Oof. I just heard some fucking pop off. You're welcome. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's bring it up here then. It's very light. Is it a clothing item? You voted D before? Well, as you should have. If you vote straight ticket, you're an idiot. You are a mindless, dickless, fr frankless. <laughs> you guys, I miss the pandemic. <clears throat> Gambling with Paige and Arnold, I would take I would lift my shirt up and press my nipple up against the plexiglass dividing us. <laughs> good times, good times. We're still gonna try to get some fucking orange drink though. And, and to, well, the tacos is open 24 hours, so I'm not too worried about them. But finding McDonald's is open right now is bullshit. You miss Jonathan? She got fired, the poor thing. I don't miss her. She was a little too hands on. I'm gonna run out of gas. Did you, Paige? Did you did you diddle yourself to him or what? Uh, McDonald's is the only place that serves orange drink. Uh, is that 
legit can. Did you get a picture? <laughs> wow. Just for me. Oh, thanks, babe. All right, are these arches on? Turn on them fucking arches, God damn it! I like going to Circle K and getting whatever the fucking like variety frozen drink is. <clears throat> uh, the sour pack. Yes, they're on, bitch. Now, as long as there's not a line from hell. Oh, score, motherfuckers. We'd still be in that other line. Oh, daddy's so good. Look at this shit. There ain't nothing here. Oh, fuck yeah. I would fucking cry. Orange drink? Uh, one large orange high C. Fat for you, bitch. That's everything. Judge my food choices, you fucking cocksucker. You guys love to fucking point fingers and fucking judge other people, but then look at your fat ass, huh? Exactly. I am not buying, I believe they close at midnight, which is in a half hour. <clears throat> we don't order stuff from the grill when they're that close to closing. It's all fucking nasty old shit. Why would there be fat and pop? There isn't. That's why it's healthy, you fucking bitch. That was my point. Fuck. <laughs> Runs with scissors, would you like to be timed out? I don't think it is carbonated. It's like fruit punch or whatever. There's no bubbles and shit. <laughs> Unless you fart. Hi, darling. How are you? Oh, my God. No way, Kenzie. You, you go to hell with that shit. Paige, time out, Kenzie, for lying. Misinformation is not welcome here. What goes for thousands? Good night, Shelly. Thank you for joining us. Dream about them big titties, okay? Those big Canadian fucking tatters. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> do you want to open this? Terrible with names. Yeah, well, we don't accept it around here. Okay. Woof, Martin. <laughs> God damn it, my runny fucking nose. Nope, thank you. Oh, Lisa, looks like we're not going to be able to open it just yet. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Oh, yes, bitch. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, now let's go get them tacos. 
Tacos and tatters. What a fucking night for you guys. Oh, not much ghost. Just talking about titties and kitties. <clears throat> and this is why we have the lighter. Turn here. <laughs> Never mind that smoke, you guys. Okay, there we go. Okay. God damn it. Oh! Oh, okay. There, I got it. Ah! Oh my god. These are people behind me. What is this? Is this a Spice Girl bedspread or something? What is it? I can't. Why is her face missing? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god! And a Netflix gift card. Thank you very much, Lisa. Oh, it's got a it's got a thing in here. Hold on. Brian, this is your. What does that say? This is your something gift. I don't know what the fuck that says. S-E-R-G. I thought the Spice Girls could make hot... Could make hospital stays more comfortable. Oh, that's cute. The, uh, I still don't understand what that word is. Thank you very much, Lisa. She's still here, right? Surgery? No, I don't think it's surgery. What the hell does that word say? <laughs> Fuck you, Nick. <laughs> I don't know why her face is gone, though. I thought that was funny. I'll, uh, well, I'll open it up when I get home. <clears throat> Do you know what it says? Screamer? Your handwriting is very good compared to mine. Hi, Monic. You missed a very riveting woke conversation, Monic. I know you love that shit. You see Facebook? I'll show you later. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> uh, there is... Hold on here. Oh, it stinks like campfire in here now. Mm. I like that smell. I have serial killer handwriting. <laughs> Darlene, don't look at him. He doesn't exist to you females.
Oh my god. Monic, fuck off. Is it a full size blanket, Lisa? Oh. You need to draw her face on. <laughs> it's a twin size? Okay. Oh, fuck yeah, bitch. No lines anywhere. I love it. What are we getting? Okay, let's open another gift here. We have this one. Maybe this is yours, J. Can. It's from Walmart. Is he still here? Isn't that where you said your thing was from? Hey, fucker. There we go. All right. Here we go. Very small item. Oh, look at you. You sent me a weapon. Is this for me to, oh, to open packages like the one I just burned? <laughs> Amazon wouldn't let you send it across the states? Really? Those pussies. God damn it, my fucking nose. Well, thank you very much. This will come in handy. Nice and small, too. And then it takes up, it was in the top part of that box. So <laughs> half the packaging was just empty air. That's cute. Thank you very much. And it's even got a toothpick in it so I can. Mm. Nick, you want to sound with this? Stick this down your piss lip. <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't want to put it on my keys. I have enough shit on my keys. We'll just, we'll just pop, to, toss it in here and we'll be there. There we go. Thank you. What will you be doing in North Dakota there, Darlene? Is there any supercars? What does that mean? Put it where my lighter <laughs> Okay. Nick, I bet I could stick that entire Swiss Army knife in your fucking piss lid, huh? Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Your clutch purse. Okay. There still might be more. I can't 
can't really see. Matt, you missed a riveting conversation. Look up Kayla Lemieux and get yourself caught up. Good night, Jeremy. <laughs> I know, when you get me in the bedroom, I just lay there. <laughs> Get a mini fried chicken taco? We'll be with you in just a moment. Sounds good, thank you. <laughs> Fuck you, JG. Yeah, I'm calling a police. Fuck that man, bitch. Reason shell. Oh, thanks, Monic. I'm still not gonna fuck you, but I appreciate that. Are you not entertained? Can I get one mini fried chicken taco? One mini fried chicken taco? And one soft shell chicken taco. And one, one soft shell chicken taco? That's it. Alright. So it'll be 536 on the window. Thank you. Thank you. That's a big fucking dog. <clears throat> I am starting a talk show. I'm taking over the other channel. It's called uh, Woke and Stroke. That is a puppy kitty. <laughs> Booger Nick, are you? I hear I hear uh, tickets for that are, are asinine, uh, bullshit expensive already. Probably, Sarah. I would. Can you blame him? Hmm. <laughs> Monica, what are your thoughts about Kayla Lemieux? Talk to us. Paige, why you gotta ruin the fun? God, you're such a fucking bitch. Buzzkill. I'm heading to? Well, to a gas station, maybe. I'm gonna go home and go to bed. <laughs> Sarah, it's fun to do that in people's chats when they're not actually there, like, <sighs> Roseanne will get me to start doing that in Cheryl's chats. And then Cheryl gets, you know, cause Cheryl's pussy gets moist when Arnold's around. <clears throat> she gets all excited and shit, but he's not really there. But it's, just, it, it's, it's a fun game is, is my thoughts. Yeah. I think she's caught on to that one though. But that was a, a fun one. Are you heading out, Lisa? Good night. Thank you for the Spice Girls shit and the, and the Netflix uh, gift card. Back to work, Monix. Sounds good. 
pay them taxes, bitch. <clears throat> Andrew, what's up? Oh, just getting some ta my tacos on. Got my orange drink. Life is good. What's up with you, bitch? Is it Saturday? It is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Why, why, why do you... Why? <laughs> I was about to say, why did none of you have a life? But then I was like, well, that means I don't have one either. Mm. Now I'm sad. Hi, Cheryl. How are you, pumpkin? <laughs> oh. Do they make this orange lava burst? Do they make that in a, in a, in a juice box? <laughs> Sarah, that's funny. Arnold's got a crush on Kayla Lemieux. They're taking forever tonight. I don't think it matters, Jonathan. How am I feeling? It's been a pretty shitty week. Fuck you, ghost. But taco, I want tacos. I don't know where that kitty litter shit came from. Isn't Canada more sane when it comes to shit like that? Thank you, Heidi, for five dollars super chat. Even though you never noticed me. Oh, you're so needy. <clears throat> Appreciate you. Heidi, you got tits like Kayla Lemieux. <laughs> I'll notice you then. <laughs> Cheryl, look up Kayla Lemieux. What are your thoughts? How do you gamble at Mystic a lot, right? <clears throat> Firm bees. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I doubt it, Matt. Roseanne's here. Any any big jackpots lately? Hopefully he doesn't get to the point where he gets to pick out a VP. <clears throat> oh, do you think Cheryl is, is Roseanne, Sarah? Could be. Congratulations, golf. Do I need to look up this fucking Daryl some bullshit or whatever? Jennifer and garbage. I saw you guys talking about it earlier. Oh my god, my fucking car is on E. Hey, 
Have you seen my jackpot on Big Ben? Doing less lines at uh, level six? That's a hot fucking video, I think. That was a... In fact, that may be my biggest win ever at level six. I think so. His mother testifies. Who is it? I don't even know who this is. I sure do. Daryl Brooks. Okay, you, who is this? Do you want any hot or mild sauce instead? No, thank you. Right. You got it warmed up for me, Heidi? Very good. Thank you. Yeah, that was a dollar one. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna pull over and eat these and uh, call it a night. Yeah, I don't people in Wisconsin prayed last year. Um, did I, I mean, I guess I, oh, was he a shooter that dressed up like a female? Is that who that is? He dressed in women's clothes or whatever? Oh, this looks terrible. Oh, I'm not gonna eat this. Are you a hooker, Heidi? Heidi the hooker? Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. The guy that dressed up like a girl, though, that was in Illinois. Not too far, right? And then he was gonna get in his car and go to Wisconsin and do the same thing. Is that right? Wasn't he driving to Madison? I'll spill the shit out of it, Heidi. All right, guys. Yeah, he was driving a Madison. Yeah. I'm turning off. I have fun tonight. Thanks for being part of a riveting conversation. I appreciate that. I like that we can be on different political spectrums, but come together and have a civilized conversation. <clears throat> I think that that's good. So make good choices. Sleep well. Good luck at the casino. And we'll talk again soon.